Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Calm with Carlin, yoga and meditation for your everyday life. Today we have yoga for upper body strength, so this will be a vinyasa class, but we're really going to be focusing on the muscles of the upper body and the back, and along with that we'll be doing a, a little bit of sneaky core work as well. Um, upper body is definitely my least favorite thing to do, but strengthening my upper body has helped me in so many more fitness spaces and also with daily activities like carrying groceries and things like that. So we'll make it short but spicy and we're going to get started on our shins just as I am now. I'll see you there when you're ready. Rest your palms on your thighs. Ground down through the tops of the feet, the shins. Feel the seat pressing down into the heels. And as you relax the shoulders, feel the crown of the head reaching up towards the sky, lengthening the spine, growing nice and tall. Let's begin by taking three big breaths together, inhaling deeply through the nose holding at the top, and then exhaling out the mouth. Again, inhale deeply through the nose, fill up the belly. Pause, and exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale, pause, and exhale. Beautiful, blink the eyes open if you had them shut. Reach the left fingertips up to the sky and then take your left hand to your right shoulder blade, almost like you're giving yourself a pat on the back. And then take your right hand to your left elbow and just pull that left elbow back. This is like a classic gym class stretch. And we're gonna from here just gently stretch over to the right side. So take a really tiny right side body lean You'll feel the left side of the body lengthen as you stretch out the left arm. And then when you're ready, come back to center and switch out the arms. Take the right hand up to the sky and then give yourself a pat on the back. Reach for that left shoulder. Take the left hand, grab onto the right elbow and gently pull it back. And then once you start to feel that stretch in the arm, just take a gentle side body lean to the left, feeling the right side of the body lengthening. It's a really tiny movement here. We're not in a huge range of motion. Just breathe. I think I said motion, motion. <laughs> And then when you're ready, inhale, come back through center. And then let's take it to the hands and knees, tabletop position. And from our tabletop position, we'll find some scapula push-ups on our knees. So finding the wrists right underneath the shoulders, pull the belly button in and up towards the spine. And then in a scapula push-up, we're really just taking the chest down a couple inches and then pressing the ground away from us, rounding the upper body. So we go down and up down and up for five, four, three, two, last one, and come back to neutral. We'll try that again. This time I encourage you to try it on your toes, coming up into your high plank. If you wanna stay down on your knees, be my guest. We go for five, four, three, two, last one, back to neutral, drop the knees, bring the big toes to touch, take the knees out wide, and take an inhale, reach the right fingertips up to the sky, find a nice open twist here, and then thread the right arm underneath the left to our thread the needle pose starting to work through those shoulders, so we'll stretch them out. You can walk the left fingertips forward as I have, or maybe you take that left hand behind the back and find yourself in a half bind. Left shoulder away, 
opening through the left shoulder as you settle into the right shoulder. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, take the left hand back down to the ground. Press into the left palm. Reach the right fingertips up to the sky and come back through center. Right hand plants. Inhale, left fingertips reach up to the sky. Nice and open in your twist. And then thread the left arm underneath the right. Come down to the left shoulder. An option to walk the right fingertips forward. Or maybe you find that half bind reaching the right fingertips up and over behind the body, grabbing for the left hip crease. As you press that right shoulder up and away from the wall to your right side, or whatever's to your right side, as you soften into the left shoulder and open up through the right shoulder. Take one more breath here. And at the bottom of the exhale, take the right hand back underneath the right shoulder, press into the right palm, and inhale to lift the left fingertips back to the sky. Beautiful. And then as you come forward, come back to a neutral tabletop position. And from this neutral tabletop position, we'll come into our high plank one more time. And this time, bring the, bring the feet nice and wide so you have a little bit of a wider base here. And we're going to find some shoulder taps so you can always drop to the knees if that's more comfortable as in modification. But we're basically just tapping left hand to right shoulder and then right hand to left shoulder. So we keep switching strong through the core, try not to rock the hips so much. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold your high plank, bring the feet underneath the hips, inhale here, and then exhale, lift the hips downward facing dog. Beautiful, feel that nice stretch in the back of the body. And then let's stretch out our shoulders here. Bend both of the knees at the same time. Reach the chest towards the thighs. And as the crown of the head reaches down to the ground and the chest reaches towards the thighs, you'll feel that opening in your shoulders. Just for three, for two. On one, take it back to your downward facing dog. And from here, take an inhale, look to the top of the mat, bend the knees, gaze your hand, gaze towards your hands. And then on your exhale, walk or jump your feet to your hands. Big toes come to touch. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise, reach all the way up to standing. Fingertips reach up to the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands through to heart center. We're going to amplify these sun salutations just a little bit today. We will only be taking two, so just bear with me, and then we'll get a nice little rest. Take an inhale, reach the fingertips up to the sky. And on the exhale, take the hands behind the back, interlace the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open through the heart. Take an inhale here, and on your exhale, start to fold forward, hands up and over the head. Stay here for one breath, and then on your inhale, interlace, take the hands rather to the shins, inhale, look up halfway, and on your exhale, step back to your high plank. Listen closely here, take an inhale in your high plank, feel free to lower to the knees, and then on your exhale, shift forward and lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, come back to your chaturanga, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we'll flow through that sequence one more time, just taking that vinyasa when we go from our upward facing dog back to our chaturanga and then up to our high plank, just getting in a little bit of extra work for the upper body. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, bend the knees, look to the top of the mat, walk or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise. Fingertips reach all the way up to the sky. And then on your exhale, take the hands, interlace them behind the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, open through the heart. Take a nice inhale here. And on your exhale, bend the knees and fold forward, taking the hands up and over the head. Stay here for a full cycle of breath. 
Deeply breathing in and slowly breathing out and gently let the hands come down as you lift up halfway and then exhale, find your high plank. Take an inhale in your high plank, same thing. Exhale, shift forward as you lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, take three breaths in your down dog. Feel free to drop the knees and find a child's pose if you'd like. Two more breaths here. One more breath. And then when you're ready, bring the big toes to touch in your downward facing dog. Take an inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. And on your exhale, tap your right knee to your right elbow and hold. And then take that right knee down to the right wrist and then up to the right elbow down to the right wrist, up to the right elbow. One more time, down to the right wrist, up to the right elbow, this is the sneaky core, and then step the right foot in between the hands and rise up, find a crescent lunge. Let's stretch it out a bit in our crescent lunge. Take the right hand, bring it down to your right side as you reach the left fingertips up and over the head, stretching out the left side body. Beautiful, and then inhale, come back through center, crescent lunge, and exhale, open up, warrior two. So you might already be feeling your arms here. Feel free to give them a little break. Let them rest, especially those shoulders, and then come right back into it. And to amplify this warrior, we'll add some small circles. Imagine you're drawing tiny little circles with your middle, middle fingers. And then switch the directions, draw the circles backwards. Let's go forward one more time. And backward one more time. And then come to stillness in your warrior two. Start to straighten through the right leg, reach the right fingertips forward and find your triangle pose, your trikonasana. Take a moment here just to stretch it out. And then in sneaky core, take the left hand up and over the head and reach the right fingertips out in front of you. Really flex through your biceps. Imagine you're squeezing a big ball above the head, holding for five, four, three, two, on one. Come back into your warrior two. And then inhale, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Ooh, knee pop. Stay here. Use this as a moment of rest. I know I'm already feeling it in the arms. One more breath here. And then on your next inhale, bring the left forearm to the left, right forearm to the right thigh, left fingertips up and over the head, reaching in the opposite direction. And then maybe from here, you just bring your hand behind your head and let the head fall back into the hand, opening up through that left shoulder. Try and stay nice and light in the right arm. So you're using your core to hold you up here. When you're ready, take an inhale, come back to your warrior two, just to transition. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands and step back to your high plank. Option to take that amplified vinyasa inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Before we go to the other side, let's light up the shoulders just a little bit more. Take the hand, take the forearms down to the ground, coming onto the elbows, making the shape of an 11. The forearms are parallel. And then walk the feet in a little bit closer to the elbows. And we're holding a stop and pose for five, four, three, two, on one, walk the feet back, press into both hands at the same time to come back to your downward facing dog. And then bring the big toes to touch, take an inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. 
exhale left knee to left elbow and then bring it down left knee to left wrist crease bring it up to the elbow and down to the wrist crease one more time up to the elbow down to the wrist crease bring it up one more time and then step the left foot in between the hands rising up into your crescent lunge and from this classic crescent lunge let the left hand come off to the left side right fingertips reach up and over towards the left side stretching out that right side body take a moment here to catch your breath And then when you're ready, inhale, come back to your crescent lunge and exhale, open up, warrior two. Again, if you need to take a break here and reset, go ahead and release the arms down. <sighs> Let the shoulders relax. Upper body is no joke. And then come back into it. And we'll take those same arm circles, slowly drawing circles with the middle fingers forward direction and then take them backwards take them forwards one more time backwards one more time and come back to stillness and hold start to straighten through the left leg reach the left fingertips forward eventually coming into your trikonasana left fingertips down right fingertips up Take a break here just to stretch. And then we come into that sneaky core and upper body work. Take the right arm up and over the head and the left arm up. Really squeeze the biceps like you're holding on to this big beach ball for five. Spiral the right side of the body open for three, two, on one. Sink it back into your warrior two. And then inhale, flip the front palm and reverse your warrior. Use this as a nice moment of relief. And then go ahead and bring the left forearm to the left thigh. Oh, up and over the head. Maybe that right hand comes behind the head. And taking the right shoulder back as you open up. Here. when you're back to your side angle pose and then come back to your warrior two just to transition take an inhale cartwheel the hands and step it back to your high plank option for your funky vinyasa inhale come forward exhale lower down inhale upward facing dog exhale chaturanga inhale high plank exhale downward facing dog beautiful from here let's drop the knees take the arms long behind us find a child's pose and just let the shoulders round forward Just a couple more breaths here to reset. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly come forward and we'll make our way into one more dolphin pose. So again, we're bringing the forearms down to the ground. The arms are parallel, creating an 11 shape. And then tuck the toes and lift the hips up to the sky and see if you can walk your feet just a little bit closer to your elbows. And then from here, lift the right leg up to the sky. We'll hold for five, four, three, two. On one, take the right foot down, lift the left foot up to the sky. We'll hold for five, four, three, two. On one, take the left foot down and just hold in your dolphin pose for five, four, three, two on one bring the knees down to the ground right underneath the hips and crawl the hands forward finding your puppy pose bringing the head the chest to the forehead 
breathing here, opening deeply through the shoulders. Take one more breath here. And when you're ready, we're coming into one final plank series. So come back onto the forearms. You can interlace the hands together this time, forming that triangle shape. And we'll come into a forearm plank. Holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two on one bring the left forearm so it's parallel to the top of the mat come on to the left pinky edge side of the left foot maybe you stagger the feet if that's more comfortable or drop the left knee we're here in this side plank for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 on one, come back to your forearm plank and take it to the other side. Right forearm comes parallel to the top of the mat. Stack or stagger the feet on the right side. Maybe you drop that right knee. Left fingertips reach up to the sky. We hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, come back to your forearm plank, this time arms parallel, holding just for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, drop the belly, untuck the toes, find your sphinx pose, allow the lower back to release by taking your feet out a little bit wider, Still feels like a little bit of work to be on these forearms, but we're getting off in a moment. Let's stretch out these arms and shoulders just a little bit more. I'm gonna move a little bit to my left because I don't have too much space. And come lying on your belly. Reach the right hand out long beside you. Come onto the right cheek and bring the left fingertips just towards the left side of the body. Now kick the left foot up to the sky and gently roll onto your right side as you press the left foot behind you and come onto that right shoulder. Feel the openness here. A couple breaths. When you're ready, slowly come back onto the belly. We'll do the same thing, just with this time a decreased range of motion, because we're going to take our arm to a cactus shape. So creating that 90 degree angle with the right arm, coming to a half goal post. Left fingertips stay where they are, right cheek stays on the ground. And then again, flex the left toes, kick them up towards the sky, and slowly start to roll onto the right shoulder. On this side, it's a lot more challenging for me to get my left foot on the ground behind me. Range of motion is decreased. This is really strong stretch in the shoulder. So we're just taking two breaths here. And when you're ready, gently come back through center and we'll take that to the other side. I'm gonna move back in. This time the left fingertips reach out to the side, come on to the left cheek and take the right fingertips Plant them outside of the right side of the body. Flex the right toes up towards the sky like you're about to press your heel into the ceiling beneath the ceiling above you, rather. And then slowly start to roll on to the left side, planting that right hand, right foot, really messing up the body parts today, behind you as you open up through the left shoulder.
As you're ready, slowly come back through center and coming back onto the belly. And then again, we'll cactus that left arm, this time creating a half goal post and decreasing our range of motion. So come back onto the left cheek, kick that right foot in towards the seat and gently start to roll onto your left side. Maybe the right foot doesn't quite touch this time. As you can see, mine is just barely touching the ground, just my big toe. Just taking two breaths. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, slowly make your way back through center and just press the palms into the ground and find a seated position. Just take a moment to shake out the arms side to side. And then when you're ready, come on to your seat. Take the legs out in front of you and slowly make your way onto your back. <clears throat> Once you find this place on your back, if there's any other postures you'd like to close out your practice, feel free to go there now. If you are ready for Shavasana, close the eyes. Take the legs out long to either side of the mat. Arms out long with the palms facing up for acceptance or down for grounding. And just be here. Wherever you feel that you created tension in the body today, which turns to strength, let those places go. Allow them to melt into the mat. As I settle into my rest, I'm feeling that melting sensation in my shoulders, which were lit up for most of class. And just let that sense of melting, of letting go, just embody you as you spend the next minute in rest. And begin waking up the body by wiggling through the fingertips and toes, rolling out the wrists and the ankles, shaking the head yes and no, eventually finding a full body stretch, reaching the arms long behind you, extending through the fingertips and pointing through the toes. And then roll onto either your right or your left side using your bicep as a pillow pausing just briefly in the fetal position, expressing gratitude for your body and for your practice, and then keeping the eyes closed and slowly making your way up to a seated position, either on your shins like we started class or an easy cross-legged seat, resting the palms on the thighs. Take a nice long inhale here and an exhale to let go. Bring your palms to heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I bow with namaste. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment below. Let me know how it went and what you would like to see next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Calm with Carlin, and I hope to see you again soon.